Hey, what's up guys? It's Allie. Wow, my voice sounded weird there. Never mind that. So, today is the day that All Time Low's new album, Future Hearts, comes out. And so in honor of that, I decided that I was going to do a makeup tutorial inspired by the album art for Future Hearts. Now this is going to be the first of several album art cover tutorials that I'm going to be doing. This is just where I'm starting. I figured, considering today was the day the album came out, it was a good place to start. However, I'm totally open to any suggestions that you guys may have, so if you have any of those, please drop them down below. Odds are, if I can figure something out for it, I'll do it. And so this is the final look for the Future Hearts tutorial. And so if you want to find out how to go to this, you need to start from... Alright guys, first things first, we're going to use some lip balm. I'm using an EOS one, and I'm just putting this on now because these don't set in real quick, so by the time our makeup's done, it'll be all good to go. And now starting with the makeup, for a matte complexion, I'm going to be using Hard Candy's Glamouflage Foundation. I'm in the shade 932 Ivory. And this has a pump, which is miraculous for a drugstore foundation. For a $7 foundation to have a pump, it's kind of amazing. Just pumps are so much better. And then I started off putting this on with a brush, but then I finished with my fingers because the brush just got to be too much. And I will say right now, if you have dry skin, you're probably not wanna, gonna wanna go for this foundation because it clings to dry patches really, really bad. So if you have a matte foundation that works for you, or you don't want a matte complexion, then just use whatever works for you. This is just for me. And then concealer, I'm going to use the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer, if I can hold it right. I'm in the shade Light, and I'm just going to apply that in the upside down triangle under my eyes to get that natural look from it. And I put a dab on my nose, because I've got a red nose. I'm just going to take a concealer brush and I'm going to blend that out. And I'm actually going to use my fingers a little bit with this one too. As you can see right there. Because my eyes, I don't know if they're just too sensitive or if this is the case for everyone, but the stiff concealer brush just irritates right near the lash line. So I just use a finger there so that it is not so painful. And now we're gonna start contouring. I'm using a Real Technique Sculpting Brush and an Ulta Blush Bronzer Duo. I think this is just called Bronzer. I think Splendor is the blush. So we're just gonna dip the contour brush into the bronzer. And I'm going to start building that up underneath my cheekbones. This fishy face helps me find that. And you build the color up more along the hairline. Got a little bit on my nose. <laughs> so you build it up more along the hairline and I don't know why, but I had more problems building up color on this side. But basically you just wanna go underneath the line, you wanna suck in your cheeks a little bit, and that'll help you find the line to apply this along. And darker out the hairline, lighter toward the mouth. And I know it looks ridiculous now, but don't worry, we're gonna fix it. Just cleaning up the lines a little bit with my finger. And then, I'm going to use an eyeshadow brush, and dipping it in the same bronzer, I'm just going to use that to draw along either side of the bridge of my nose so we can contour the nose. I'm doing that from the brow all the way down to the tip of the nose. And I know some of these spots look like they've gotten more colors than others. Don't worry about it, we're going to blend it, it's going to be fine. As long as you're not going ridiculously outside the lines, you're going to... Once you blend, you're going to be set. So we're going to take a kabuki brush. We're going to blend that. You either blend side to side on it along the same line, or you blend down and out, never up and in, because then you're going to ruin that defined line that you just gave yourself right under your cheekbones, which defeats the entire purpose of doing this. So don't waste your time. Don't blend up and in. Now I'm just drawing it. Just blending down the nose, which is a little bit easier. And it, this looks a little dark on camera, but I promise it looks way more natural in real life. I don't know why the camera's picking it up like that, but whatever. So we're going to contrast that with the Benefit What's Up highlighter. 
and we're gonna put that down the bridge of the nose, right between those two lines, down the cupid's bow, along the cheekbones, and connect that up to the brow with the kind of C shape. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend that out, so that's easier to blend in a minute with that same kabuki brush. And we're just gonna use that to soften it all and make it look more natural. And now we're done with the contouring. So now we're gonna move on to eyebrows. I'm using the NYX Eyebrow Cakes. I am using the black shade. And I'm using the lighter shade out of this duo. I'm just gonna dip my brush in there. And I'm doing this side. It's way easier for me to do one side and just perfect that and then get the other one to match. My brows are a little uneven. And as you can tell the difference, I just love the look of filled in brows way more. That's why I always fill them in. And just short, light strokes. That way you don't look too caked on and it looks more natural that way. But you still have that filled in coloration. And just using a spoolie brush real quick to groom the brows. You don't really need wax or anything. Well, I find that I don't. If you do, go ahead and use it. Do whatever you need to do. And now we're moving on to eyes. Gonna prep with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And we're just gonna smooth that all over the eye. And we're gonna go actually around the eye a little bit. We're going everywhere that there's gonna be makeup product. So you're putting a little bit around the outer corner of your eye, extend it a bit, and then we're gonna be putting a little bit under our eye as well. More toward where the outer corner is, because we're not gonna have any product done underneath on the inner corner, and we're just making sure this is tacky, and it's feeling good to me. So we're gonna start, and I'm using Tokidoki's Chromatico Eyeshadow in the shade Samba, and I know this is discontinued, I know you can't get it anymore, so I believe a good dupe for this is the NYX eye, the Jumbo Eye Pencil, I believe in Cottage Cheese is the shiny one. And it's just a shimmery white, which is what this is basically. This may be more silvery, but if you find anything that looks similar to this, then just go ahead and go for it. And we're just putting that all over, all the way up to the brow, and then we're swapping to the same brand of eyeshadow in Brutino, which is this shimmery blue. And I'm going to start packing that around the outer corner of the eye. Now, as you're going to see throughout this entire video, I had a bit of problems with this, so you're going to see me going back to this color maybe three or four times. So don't worry if it's not perfect right now. Just start packing it on, and you can perfect it on later. We just want to get at least an idea of where it's going to go now, because otherwise you're going to have the hardest time trying to place it later. I'm just putting that on maybe the outer third of my eye, extending it a little bit outward. It's going to look a little bit weird now. Don't worry, we're going to clean up around the edges just a little bit. And there's our base, basically. And I'm going to take my crease brush, which is really better as a fluffy blending brush, and I'm just going to blend around the edges, make it softer. Like I said, it's a little bit harsh as is, so this is softening those edges and just softening the color in general, but we still have a basic idea of where we're going to need to go with it. And then I'm breaking out ELF's Cream Eyeliner, and this is just in a black shade. And we're using this to be more precise. A pencil eyeliner wouldn't work great for this. So I'm just taking a brush, and I'm being super, super careful and drawing the line. Take your time with this. It's not gonna be a speedy bunny process. You wanna go slow and steady, otherwise this is going to be a nightmare. As you can see, I'm just doing this one full speed so that you guys can see what I'm doing, get an idea for what you're going for. But the other eye will be sped up just so it's not wasting time. And we're winging it out just a little bit. And we're connecting down. We're not going underneath the eye quite yet, so don't worry about that as of yet. 
I'm just going back along the top. It wasn't... The curve was weird on the eyeliner, so I just went back and fixed it a little bit. And that's the basic top. So that's all good. And now we're going to do the same idea on the other eye. Once again, don't rush. This looks rushed, but... That's because I sped it up. Don't speed. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a problem, and it's going to be super hard to take it off. You're just trying to get them to match. If you're not perfect, how many times have we not had a perfect eyeliner? Don't worry too much about it, but just try and get it as good as you can. Right, so we're shutting that for now. And we're going to take the Urban Decay Zero 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. And we're going to start connecting that wing to the lower eye. And we're not going to go too far. Probably not even all the way to the iris. But just enough that it kind of connects underneath. When I look forward to the camera, you'll see more what I mean. Just like that. And then we're going to go back over that with the cream eyeliner. Because zero just isn't enough. And you really want it to match. So I'm using that. And once again, you gotta be slow. Steady hands are essential here. That's just me cleaning it up because I did make a little mistake, but luckily it didn't go too far and it was easier to clean up. But if you go too far, it's gonna be really hard to clean up. I can't stress that enough. I'm fixing the wing a little bit here because that side did get a little messed up. It looks like we've got it, finally. And I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit around the edges, especially under the eye. I know I had a little bit under the eye. And we're gonna take Rutino again, and we're gonna take that blue color, and we're just gonna pack more on where we had it. Don't extend it any further than you had it before. You may actually need to blend more around the edge. You don't want it to go past the wing. So just be very careful about that. This is a very pigmented one. And I know that if you need a dupe for this, it, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Electric Blue would work good. Now we're blending that, making the edges softer. I'm cleaning up because I did have it extend past the wing, but the eyeshadow is easier to clean up than the eyeliner. Yep, just cleaning that up. It's a process to get perfect eyeliner. And now our lip balm is all set, so we're going to take Tokidoki's Gelato Lip Balm Stain. I know that they don't make this anymore, but if you find a more... If you find a color in the Revlon Color Balm Stains, then that's probably your best bet as a replacement. I'm going in, I'm fixing the line again, it's not up to snuff for me. I think I needed to even out the line on top. Because do you know how you can get the wing and it's too curved? That's what I was trying to fix here. And then we're going in with our lash curler and our mascara. Just the five second curl. And then I'm taking the Calvin Klein mascara from Ulta, and um, you see how it's lengthened, I'm twisting it, and that packs the bristles more, and using that to build up my lashes. And I'm just using one coat of this, I didn't think I needed more than one coat. So now we're going back in with Brutino, once again, the blue just wasn't doing it for me, so I needed more of it. Really, if you don't feel you need that much blue, then don't bother. I just really wanted the colors here to pop and match the album cover. But, I think I was finally happy with it, so that's gonna do it. And this is the finished look. Just a couple different shots. Giving you guys an example of what you're dealing with. And once again, these Tokidoki products are not available anymore. 
but you can replace them with NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. I know these shades are pretty comparable, and they're probably more precise, so they might be easier to use if you're a beginner. And then this is where we end up. This is all done. It's not the most wearable, but if you like crazy colors, I know I do, then this will work perfect for you. If you just want to go to an all-time low show with this look on, then that's perfect. <laughs> Because I know a lot, they have a lot of t-shirts with the new album design, so this would match pretty well with that. And as you can tell, I kind of went a little bit overzealous with the hair. I kind of went for the whole beachy thing. It's starting to get warmer here. It's nowhere near summer yet, but it's just warmer, so I, I just, I want it so bad that I just made my hair feel that way too. So... Just a little bit of my background with All Time Low. I've been a fan of theirs since t early 2008, and I've been around ever since. And I've made some really amazing friends through this band, so this is kind of dedicated to all of the hustlers out there who I hope enjoy this tutorial. Whether I've spoken to you, whether I know you or not, this is for you, this is for all of the All Time Low fans. I hope you guys are enjoying the album. I know I am. I've only listened to it a couple times through so far. But so far, I'm going to have to say that my favorite is probably Kids in the Dark. As cliche as that is to say the single. Um, it's good, but nothing really blows me away as much as that song does. I also really like Something's Gotta Give, and I believe it was Cinderblock Garden I was listening to earlier that I liked as well. And if you want to see any more All Time Low album tutorials, then just let me know. I will totally do it. I think I might at some point soon anyway, but I do have a few others planned before I get to that point. But just let me know down below what you guys want, and I will totally do it. If you have any other kind of tutorials you want, if you want like a contouring tutorial or what have you, I can do that for you guys. This is about you guys. I want to do stuff that you are going to want to watch, that you're going to want to do, and that you're going to enjoy seeing. Now, that being said, if you like this look enough and you want to recreate it yourself, I would love to see photos of that. Please show me photos of that. Like, tag Ally Saint on Instagram, send it to me in at reply on Twitter. Whatever you want to do, if you do this, I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see how you do it. If you want, if you put any twists on it, you don't have to follow this to a T. This is just how I did it, and if you want to swap up the lip color, if you want to use a different shade of blue, if you want to use different eyeliner, or you want to do a different cheek, show me. I want to know what you guys want to do. So that's going to do it for me today. I'm going to go probably listen to the new All Time Low album some more. I'm probably going to go listen to Future Hearts until I pick a favorite song. So that's going to do it for me today. Peace out, guys.